हाय एवरीवन आज के इस वीडियो में आप आगे चल के देखने वाले हैं कि एक गूगल रिसर्च साइंटिस्ट जो मेरे बड़े भैया जैसे हैं मेरे कॉलेज में सीनियर भी थे वो तो आज वो गूगल में जॉब करते हैं और गूगल में रिसर्च साइंटिस्ट है जो जेमिनाई है आपको पता है एआई असिस्टेंट तो जेमिनाई के वो कोर टीम में है और कैसे उनका जर्नी रहा क्या क्या वो सीखे कहाँ से एजुकेशन किया है सब मतलब बैचलर्स मास्टर्स फिर पी रिसर्च वगैरह फिर कैसे उनका जर्नी रहा कौन से कौन से कंपनी में रहे हैं और हैकेथन वगैरह जीते हैं पूरा एंटायर जर्नी वो डिस्कस करेंगे वो बात करेंगे और अगर आप आगे चल के उनके साथ एक मेरा पुराना पॉडकास्ट भी है और आने वाले दिनों में भी एक पॉडकास्ट आने वाला है उनके साथ तो आपको मैं रिक्वेस्ट करता हूँ कि ये वीडियो को अच्छे से देखिए और जो भी आपका सवाल रहता है या कोई भी टॉपिक ऑफ इंटरेस्ट है आप कमेंट में मुझे बताइए तो उस रिलेटेड मैं उनसे पूछ के बातचीत करके आप सभी से डिस्कस करूंगा और आपको बताऊंगा तो एंजॉय द वीडियो is to Swarup Mishra. Swarup is receiving his PhD in computer engineering with an emphasis in computer systems. Conducting his doctoral research under a committee led by Professor Chidabaral, Swarup's pioneering work in machine learning explored instruction tuning, a notion he developed to train machine learning models on novel tasks. His work has been integrated into systems like Flan, which is the precursor of Google's Bard, and Instruct GPT which is the precursor to ChatGPT. In addition, its implementation into major products by Google and Microsoft, Swarup's work has received a provisional patent at Microsoft. His contributions to Instruct Excel are expected to be integrated into MS Office. Congratulations. I'm Swarup Mishra. I'm a senior research scientist at Google DeepMind, California. I'm currently working on Gemini. I'm a 2014 batch Silicon pass out from Triple E batch. Silicon helped me a lot in pursuing my passion for research and innovation. I wanted to visit different research institute during semester, and Silicon authorities provided me special permission in pursuing my research. I could visit. Institute of Physics in my first year, Harishchandra Research Institute, Allahabad in my second year, and Tharmak Sarandi Pune in my third year. And during those times, I used to miss classes, labs, etc. But Silicon authorities were very helpful in providing me special permission. Specifically, I wanted to thank Tripathi Sir, who was director of research of my time, and Saroj Sir, who was the dean, and Ramprasad Pandey Sir, who was the HOD of Tripathi Department. I'm really grateful to them for their support. I have a lot of good memories of Silicon. Uh, specifically, I wanted to mention two incidents. So in 2010, when I got enrolled into Silicon, on the first day I entered through the gate, uh, and the place where currently faculties park bikes, uh, there used to be a desk with a list where you can put your name, and it will tell you what room it has been assigned to you in the hostel. Um, I came to know that my room number is D1. 
So I went up to the hostel and the top floor, I found a big dormitory and that is D1. So initially I was a bit skeptical that how can I stay with like 20 people, but I actually made a lot of great memories there. I met some of my very good friends there, who are still great friends. Whenever I go visit India, I meet them and we talk regularly. That was really one of the great memories of my time in Silicon. The second incident also happened in the first week of my joining. So during the introduction session uh, with seniors, so they came to know that I was the topper of the state in the board exam. And I was a bit sad um, they found out because you know all of my friends went into IIT and I could not. Uh, and they asked me what was the reason and uh, they could um, find out that I have a theory at the time, as to call theory of everything, which I built that time. And they asked me to go and talk to the director of research of Silicon, uh, Tripathi sir. So on the first week, uh, I went to Tripathi sir's room, knocked the door and entered inside. I was really, really happy to see that. He was really excited to read my theory. He patiently read the 150 page uh, theory I wrote that time and gave me a lot of valuable advice. I remember I probably spent more than three hours during the first meeting. Um, so before that meeting, I was probably feeling pretty sad, but then after the meeting, I felt like there's a new hope, new energy, and I feel like probably I can still do well in life if I can focus. So that was another great moment uh, and a great memory, which is still pretty close to my heart. Regarding advice to the current student, I would say there is a world beyond marks and finding a good job. Uh, specifically, if you focus on doing innovation and pursue your passion for doing something new, something different. The skill sets and the job market is constantly evolving over the years. We have seen the mechanical world, electrical world, computer science world, and probably now the AI world, where the job profile and the skill sets are evolving. But one thing which is pretty common is innovation. If you pursue your passion to innovate and build new stuff, I think you're likely to be succeed in your career. So definitely aim big beyond scoring good marks and securing good jobs. Be humble, respect others, and believe in yourself, which is probably the most important thing in life. I'm happy to mentor and advise students um, if you have any questions or any comment, please feel free to send me a message in X and formally Twitter. And I'd love to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you very much.